let's take a look at um, some of the comments that we um, have come through on our social media accounts. And they're two very polarized opinions. Let's start with the first, and that's that government is forcing maths and science down our learners' throats, and that's why we're not performing as well as we potentially could. Could you respond to that comment? So I imagine that what's behind that is that maths is now compulsory. Whereas a few years ago, maths wasn't compulsory. You didn't have to take maths. Now you have to either take maths or what we sometimes call core maths. And then you have the alternative to take maths literacy, but you have to take one. So in that sense, students are being forced to take a mathematics subject. They're not forced to take science. So let's put that one aside. Science is a choice that students can choose to take. Um, now, the question is then about should, should students be forced to take maths literacy? And I think that there is an, a very strong argument to be made that everyone needs to have basic proficiency uh, in mathematics. Um, now we're not talking about calculus uh, or algebra. We, this is very functional mathematics that students would use in their everyday lives when they, if they're getting a home loan, if they're trying to decide if how much money they need. Many of them are practical problems that maths literacy teaches them. I do think, however, that the problem is not that it's being forced down students' throats, it's that we don't have competent teachers that can teach these subjects. And I think that that's where the focus needs to be. I often say when students say, oh, this child can't take maths, they have to take maths literacy, um, I say this is often a function of the teacher, it's not really a function of the student. It might be a function of the student's learning deficits that they've acquired from attending or being exposed to very low quality teaching for a number of years. But ultimately, if you have extremely uh, high quality and passionate teachers, I believe that most students could succeed uh, in mathematics. The reason why that's not the case, I would say, is because we don't have uh, enough competent maths teachers that can teach maths at high school or at primary school. And that's where the focus needs to be. Now, you've spoken to our second question coming through on social media, and that's, what are we going to do with an entire generation of maths literacy graduates? So remember, we must compare these maths literacy graduates to what they would have been before, which is people that had no maths whatsoever. So yes, there was a decline. If we looked at the previous sort of three years, there was a decline in the number of students that were taking maths, and more students were taking maths literacy. But at least up until last year, uh, we, the technical report has only just come out, so we're not sure about the number of students that took maths this year. But there was an increased number of passes, even though there were fewer students that were taking it. Now you might say, well, how is that possible? And the reason is that there can be more subject selection. So students are more able to pick subjects that are more attuned to their own abilities. If they were meant to take maths, they should take maths. But we had some students that were taking maths that were getting 5%. 4 5%. Now that's not an optimal thing. Those students should be taking maths literacy and perhaps getting a pass and having some options available to them. Whereas if you just outright fail with 5% in maths, that doesn't help anyone. Uh, so the response to that question would be, what are we going to do with these maths literacy graduates? Well, I would say, well, the same thing that we've been doing with all the people that haven't been taking maths um, for the last you know, 20 years uh, in, the, in democracy. There are still problems around it, though. Uh, and I think that there's widespread agreement we do need to uh, to intervene in maths literacy, raise the standard, which they've tried to do uh, this year as well, which is one of the reasons why there is this drop both in maths literacy and maths um, in the pass rate. Um, but in the, in the 21st century, maths is seen, and science actually, are seen as foundational skills for national competence, but also for individual success. Um, you can't get away from, uh, from maths, it doesn't matter where you look. 